It's time for rapid fire. So life is the last module of podcasts of this series I started with. As I said, I started with um, coffee, took people on my coffee journey around the world, music, a bit of a musical journey around the world, travel, how to travel the best he can be, how not to be a travel asshole, how Mm -hmm. to be efficient at that. And life is going to culminate all of those and hopefully teach people some lessons and take what they've learned from these other modules and move on. So I'm going to hit you with a couple of things. One word answers, if you can, (laughs) about, uh, here we go. Your favorite coffee shop in London. Oh, um, oh, there's a great coffee shop in Soho. um, And uh, I've forgotten the name. It's really famous. Um, And I can't remember what it's called because you've put me on the spot. That's right. (laughs) It's okay. But you touch on uh, your favorite barista. You have a barista that you love. Uh, Yes. uh, No, he's retired. uh, It's so sad. You have to uh, find a new one. Yeah, I do. I need a new barista because it makes such a difference. Even within one coffee shop, you know, who's making the coffee makes such a difference. So, so, uh, so, yeah, he was at uh, the um, Craven, Craven Cottage um, uh, coffee shop, which is uh, attached to Fulham Football Club. Um, and, uh, yeah. Well, we'll go with that one. Okay. We'll go with that coffee <laughs> shop. Favorite music to listen to? Now, that is almost impossible because it so depends on, on your mood. mood. Right. So, What's your go-to um, that is almost on every single day? I would say I'm a, I'm a big Queen fan. I'm a, I'm Freddie Mercury is is one of my all-time favorite people. And you're coming to see him? You're, yeah. You're not him, but you're well, coming to see Queen. Well, not him. I'm coming, coming to see Queen, Queen with yeah. Adam Lambert. Yeah. yeah. Right. As, have you seen them before? No, no. First time? And, you know, I've got the kids all into it. I took them to yeah. see the film, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. So now they're big Queen fans too. So I'm taking the whole family to see Queen. Favorite place to travel in the world? Ooh. Uh, I spend a lot of time in Thailand, which is also features in my novel. Um, so I spent a wonderful month on a desert, pretty much um, sort of deserted island in Thailand back in the late 80s. And, uh, and if you read The Authenticity Project, you'll, you'll see Hazard ends up on this island, which is absolutely based on, on that experience. So that's one of my favorite places. And as we close with life, given the journey that you've been on thus far, you've come through five years of sobriety, wrote this great blog, two books now, back to being a mommy, doing all this stuff, and things are really rolling along for you. What's the best advice in life that you can give to somebody? Whether they're struggling with alcohol or whether they're just struggling in life, where, where, what, what's sort of your mantra? What do you kind of try to live by? Uh, you know what? I think one of the most important things is dealing with fear. Um, I think so many of us are held back by fear, and, and part of the reason I drank was to numb anxiety. And, um, you know, I think if you can realize that fear is your friend, you know, um, and that actually, you know, getting onto the other side of your fear is where all the most exciting things happen in life. You know, if you're feeling fearful about something, it's probably because it's, you know, something amazing is going to happen. Hmm. Um, So uh, feel the fear and do it anyway. I've always lived by the thing that all the great things in life have happened because I said yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And whether whether it works out or doesn't work out, at least you went for it. You know, even this morning, you know, I woke up and I thought, oh, you know, I've got so much to do today. And I thought, you know, the O2 is like an hour away from me. It's the other side of London. And I'm a bit nervous about meeting somebody I've never met before. And, you know, maybe I should just cancel. And I thought, no, you know, and I'm so pleased I didn't. (laughs) And I am too, because you've been a huge part of my journey this past year. Um, And I'm pretty confident I wouldn't have been able to do it without you because... Um, just strictly finding the book and being able to read what you had to go through was inspiration enough. You, I started a podcast based on the idea that you started writing and doing some stuff. It helped me be creative, and I, I, I used a lot of that guidance. But most importantly, you stayed in touch. You didn't have to. You reached out to me, or I reached out to you, and you reached and you came back to me first saying thanks for reading the book and all the rest of it. And then when I started getting a little bit more personal about maybe caving or going through it, you were right there, you know, telling me, you know, I got this. And as I said, and I touched on before, it was the most important part of this journey. 
Um, I f it's a never ending one. It'll keep going, but I feel like you've built some really great tools for me. The fact that you came all the way to see me today, I'll, uh, I'll never forget. And well, I, I want, won't forget I this want either. the <laughs> listeners, I want the listeners to not forget because this was a big moment for me. And I want you guys listening to understand that like this started as a podcast of me trying to be creative, but the access that we have to people around the world that want to give us access back is unbelievable. And you made time for me and it's turned into a big part of my life. Here you are sitting on a couch and we're backstage at the O2 uh, in London, which is one of my favorite arenas. I've, I've done 10 shows here and it just seems like a really great natural way to start the life cast with somebody that's given me so much life this year. And uh, I can't thank you enough. Oh, it's, it's a pleasure. Been, it's and been and you know, this next year for you is going to be amazing. I know it is. Well, hopefully, we can reconvene sometime this year and uh, catch up again and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Thanks for stopping by, friends, to the Brenton on Tour podcast channel on YouTube. Coffee, music, travel, life, all of those things one page, lots of guests, lots of chatter. We talk about all of it. If you like it, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Thanks friends. See you next time.